hi everybody welcome to my channel i'm here again to teach you how to ask more friendly questions by means of more common phrases used by native speakers سلام دوستان امیدوارم که حالتون عالی باشه تو این درس قراره که چند عبارت رو یاد بگیریم که خیلی آمیانه هستن و در مکالمات دوستانه و روزمره بیشتر استفاده میشن تا آخر این ویدیو من همراه باشین و یادتون نره کانالمو سابسکرایب کنین و اگه ویدیو رو دوست داشتین حتما کامنت بذارین بریم که این چند عبارت رو یاد بگیریم The first one what do you do what do you do This question is a typical question when we want to know the other person better. It's another way of asking what is your job? What's your job? What's your job? ما این سوالو وقتی از یکی میپرسیم که حالا تازه باهاش آشنا شدیم و میخوایم بیشتر ازش اطلاعات کسب کنیم و یه راه دیگه ای برای پرسیدن شغل چیه هست. Like this sentence I'm a student. I'm in my second year of pharmacy school. How about you? What do you do? I work as a tour guide for a local tour company. I've worked there for three years now. How about you? More the body, how's your new job treating you? How's your new job treating you? This question is asking about a specific part of your life, like your new job, like your new life, like your holidays and any other major event in your life. It's another way of asking how is your new job. Okay, ما از این سوال زمانی استفاده می کنیم که طرف مقابلمون وارد یه شرایط جدیدی شده، یه شرایط جدیدی، یه اتفاق جدیدی براش افتاده، مثلا زندگی جدید، شغل جدید، تعطیلات، تابسون در یک شرایط جدیدی به سر میبره و میخوایم ازش بپرسیم که مثلا شغل جدید چطوره؟ به عنوان مثال how summer treating you How's summer treating you? Yani tabesun chedor dara migzare? Tabesun chetore? It's treating me pretty. Injuri javab midim. It's treating me va hala badesh un hesahali ke barat ijad karde. It's treating me pretty well. Khayli khube baram. And how summer going for you and how summer going for you و در آخرش داره همین سوالو میپرسه باز ولی به یه نحوه دیگه how summer goes going for you و تابستون بر تو چه جوری میگذره مورد بعدی long time no see this is another friendly and common way to reconnect and start a conversation with someone you haven't seen in a long time از این عبارت ما وقتی استفاده می کنیم که یه کسی رو برای مدت طولانی ندیدیم و می خواهیم مکالمه رو شروع کنیم از این عبارت معمولا استفاده می کنیم Long time no see یعنی کم پیدا معمولا این سوال که می پرسیم Long time no see بعدش حالا اتفاقات جدیدی که افتاده رو می گیم مثلا Nothing too crazy چیز جالبی نیست How about you? تو چطور؟ برای تو چی؟ اتفاقات جدیدی افتاده؟ Any news؟ خبر جدیدی هست؟ مورد بعد Would you mind giving me a hand with this? Would you mind giving me a hand with this? This question is asking for help instead of asking a more formal question like Could you please help me? Would you please help me? Most native speakers will ask for help with a phrase like this Would you mind giving me a hand with this? Could you please give me a hand? اکثر نیتیو سپیکر ها از این عبارت استفاده می کنن برای درخواست کمک. به جای اینکه همش بگن Please help me. Could you please help me? Would you please help me? میشه کمکم کنی؟ از این عبارت استفاده می کنن Would you please give me a hand? الان به معنی hand اینجا به معنی دست نیست و من دست بدی. در واقع به معنی کمک اینجا hand به معنی help. Would you mind? Would you mind یعنی ایرادی نداره، مشکلی نداره giving me a hand with this که در این مورد بهم به کمک کنی. که در جوابش میتونیم بگیم sure, of course, you got it. اگر که نمیتونین کمک کنین میگین I'm afraid I can't. I'm afraid I can't means I'm sorry I can't. Maybe another person can. Maybe another person could. Okay. What's your take on? More the bad. What's your take on? It means what's your opinion? What's your idea? What do you think? 
ما از what's your take on استفاده می کنیم وقتی که می خواهیم نظر طرف مقابل رو بپرسیم و معادله what's your opinion نظر چیه what do you think چه فکر می کنی okay something like that what's your take on your job what's your take on my box what's your take on I don't know my cookies what's your take on your life okay what's your take on my house and something like that you can say I really like it. در جواب این سوال وقتی که نظرتون رو با این عبارت میپرسه میتونید نظرتون رو بگین مثل وقتی که حالا ازتون میپرسن What's your opinion about something? What's your opinion of something? Oh, I really like it. What do you think? عبارت بعد و عبارت آخر What do you do when you're not working? What do you do when you're not working? This question is asking What are your hobbies? It's also very common for people to ask what do you like to do outside of work or what do you do when you're not busy with, I don't know, with your job, with your homework, with your university, with your school, with your household chores, okay? ما این سوال رو وقتی میپرسیم که میخوایم در واقع بدونیم طرف در اوقات فراغتش در زمانی که وقت آزاد داره برای خودش چه کاری انجام میده. در جواب میشه گفت I spent my free time به اضافه یک کاری که انجام میدیم ولی فعل بعدش باید ING دار باشه I spent my free time doing activities with my family I spent my free times playing football with my friends or I started playing volleyball on the weekends Okay guys, we are at the end of today's lesson If you liked my video, click the word subscribe for more lessons and leave a comment, please. Thanks for learning English with me. Goodbye.